Hey guys, now that we added the materials, let's add the sprinkles to our cake. Let's go to geometry nodes here. Let's select the icing and let's click new. Now we have two nodes. First of all, in order to quickly work with nodes, you need two things. First, let's enable the add-on, which you can find in preferences, add-ons, and here search for node wrangler and just click here. Then if you haven't changed that before, here, click auto save preferences. Now let's go back. So another thing that you really need to enable to work with nodes easier, let's go into edit preferences, then let's go into key map and under spacebar action, select search. That's very important preference because it will allow you to quickly search for the nodes that you wish. For instance, if we want to add sprinkles, basically what we first need to do is add points to our icing. So for that, let's press spacebar and just type in points. And what we are looking for is distribute points on faces. Click on that and then drag it up here. Now you can see that these points appeared on our cake, but actually what we can see is that our icing itself disappeared. That's because we didn't tell Blender that we need both the points and the icing to stay. So for that, we need to add another node, which is called join geometry. And let's add it here. And now, because this one is the input which tells Blender about our IC, and this one will join the input and the points together, we need to connect this one to here. And you can see that now we have both our IC and the points. Okay, so one part done. Now, what we need to do is to add another object instead of these points, because what we actually need is something that will look similar as, let's say, chocolate sprinkles, right? So we could create a sprinkle and let's actually do that quickly. So let's go to our collection, shift A, mesh, a cube here, then slash to separate it. And then let's quickly deform it. So let's go tab, edit, edge. Okay. Then let's press control B to bevel it. And let's just quickly bevel some edges because that's how sprinkles look. Control B. Okay, let's tab out into object mode, slash. Now let's press edit again, A to select everything, S to scale, object mode, G, Z. Okay. Now, what we need to do is also add a material to it because it needs to be chocolate, right? Okay, new sprinkle base color. And we can preview it here. Yeah, something like that. What we also need to do is probably make it a bit smaller as well. Okay. And let's go back into this mode so that it doesn't take as much power from our device. Okay, going back to our icing. Also, if we want this view to stay, we can just pin it here. And that way, if we select something else, it doesn't change our view. So now what we need is to tell Blender to actually use this sprinkle as an object for these points. So for that, we need to add instances on points. 
and instances are basically our sprinkles. Also here, let's quickly do like that, say pick instance, and then we need object information so that Blender actually realizes that the sprinkles are the objects that we want to use. So for that, let's search for object info here, and then here, let's quickly select this one, or you can just select it here, cube. Okay, then click as instance, and then we need to add its geometry into instance. And you can see that they actually did show on our icing. Now let's disable our initial sprinkle from the view because we no longer need it. And now let's quickly scale this to be more like sprinkles, right? So here under scale, let's just select something like that. Okay, now we need more of them, right? So for that, we can use density here. Now there's more. Another thing we need is for them not to be so perfect. So we need to rotate them so that it looks more like it would in real life. Let's quickly add a rotate ruler here. And what we basically need is to take the value of rotation here, plug it here, and then select local here, and then plug this rotation into here. And you can see they all rotated, but what we want is to rotate them quite randomly. So for that, we have a node which is called random value here. And we just plug it here. But what we first need to do is to select vector so that we can control the rotation. For instance, right now, these numbers are X, Y, Z, so it will rotate on each of the axes here. And we can already see that it looks much more like what we want it to be. Let's select something like that. So now let's quickly increase the density to like a hundred. And yeah, also here you can see seed and basically controls different varieties. So if you don't like one, you can always try changing the seed. Okay, so now what we also need, let's change scale a bit more to something like maybe that. Yeah, okay. Now the last thing that we need, which can be quite complicated, but it's not too tricky once you get used to it, is something called weight paint. So see how sprinkles are added even here? That's not necessarily right, because when someone sprinkles them, they usually come on top, and there's almost no way that a sprinkle can be here. So what we need to do is add a map which will tell Blender where he can add them and where he doesn't need to. So what we are doing for that is we need to go to weight paint here. And what we need to do first before that is go here and add a vertex group and call it sprinkle density. Now, with ISIN selected, let's go to weight paint. So what weight paint will do is basically when weight is one, it will add sprinkles to all area, which is red, orange, and even green. But there will be less sprinkles where it's blue and light blue. Also, you can see that it's a bit hard to weight paint. And that can be because our topology is not exactly as dense. So for that, what we could try is add 
a multi-resolution modifier. So if we do that, we can see whether that will change it. Let's wait paint again. Yeah. And I think for me, it definitely changed it because it's easier to wait paint now. I know I struggled with it a lot when I was starting out, but just try to get used to it. Try to make it quite random, add some blue spots here and there. Slash, if you want to separate it. Yeah, so see how here we have blue? That will mean that here there will be less sprinkles. And that's essentially what we are looking for. So now the last thing that we need in order for this weight map to actually get connected to our geometry nodes. We need to select this density here and plug it in input. And now we can select geometry nodes here in modifiers. And then here we can press on this label and select sprinkle density. So it did work, but what we also need is to be able to control the density of sprinkles, right? So for that, instead of random, let's select Poisson disk. And then again, density factor goes into here. Oops. Here. And we select a sprinkle density, but then min and max is changeable. So we can create more of them. Let's add 200 here. And we can see that now we have more of them. Now, again, I think that's way too big for them. So then let's do something like 0.3. Okay. Yeah, that's better. You can also see that it did get a bit distorted. And that's probably because in shading, in our IC, we displaced it a bit. So let's disconnect the displacement. Let's go back into our view. Yeah. Now you can see that we have the sprinkles. Geometry nodes is actually a very powerful tool because you can always change it. So for instance, here we added our sprinkles as an instance. But we can actually, instead of that, select cherry and you can change the density to like 30 and you have cherries on top of your cake. I mean, I know that's probably not what you were looking for, so let's not do that. One more thing. If you created a, a node setup and want to be able to come back to it without forgetting all the necessary parts, what you could do is select the nodes you want and then press Ctrl J. That will add a frame to it. And then we can press F2 and add the label. For instance, density. So here we can easily see which nodes control what. So we can add here Ctrl J, name it print call object and then here we can name it rotation value actually just rotation and then here we can name it random rotation so I hope it became a bit more clear how to work with nodes how to create something with them. I hope you managed to make sprinkles for your beautiful cake. And if you get stuck or anything, or if you have more questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Hope it was useful. 
See you in the next videos.